Good morning, everyone on Facebook. I'm popping in right now because Brian is at work and he has been waiting for this package to arrive for a few days and he gave me permission to open it but he wanted me to take pictures and I thought this would be more fun. So um, if you know anything about Brian, you know that he has kind of an obsession about something and maybe you want to guess what he got. I know it's a little bit delayed so if you have any clues as to what Brian might have got for Father's Day then type it in in the comments and we'll see if you can guess what it is. If, if you know Brian you know he's got quite an obsession for a couple of things. Um, one thing he discovered that he loved around Christmas Maybe that'll give you a clue. And he's been talking about this thing nonstop for um, a long, long, long time. And this will be his third set of this thing. I'm <laughs> trying not to give too much away if you want to guess. But um, to give you a little bit more time, anybody have a guess on what Brian, what do you think Brian got for Father's Day? Well, I'll, first I'll tell you, um, I wanted to get him something because, um, you know, we've, we've lost four of our babies and he's been really helpful in helping me recover and taking care of me, you know, when, um, when I was, when I was going through all that stuff. So, um, I thought he deserved something. So, um, it was a little bit of a splurge. It's not golf clubs. But, say hi to Jesus. <laughs> Not golf clubs, but um, it is a little bit of a splurge. And um, something that the other, the other set that he got, he got for Christmas from his, his mom and dad because we, there was no way I was buying them for him. So um, that might give you a clue. But it, if there's no other guesses, golf clubs, not golf clubs, um, you might know that Brian really likes to shop for clothes and um, so he found this um, this company called Allen Edmonds it's a shoe company and they have um, they're like hand stitched or hand done or I don't know something like that they have leather soles so that you can um, change the soles and they're supposed to never wear out um, they're really nice shoes not drums they're shoes so um, I have two pair that I'm gonna show you because he told he told me I have to do a couple of things so this is the first pair that he got and he has not only does he have the shoe but he has l like a ton of different color laces to match his suits and he has a shoe he has shoe treats for each one and he also has like a buffing kit which is I think it's adorable um, because I, <laughs> my shoes are not this nice. Here's the set that he got from his uh, mom and dad for Christmas. Are they nice? And this, these are some of the the laces. He changes his laces um, to match his suits and ties and that. So, so I'm gonna unbox his new pair of shoes. And these are, um, they were factory seconds. So that means I there's supposed to be some kind of. Uh, maybe problem with them I don't know what it's gonna be um, hopefully he can keep them but if not we're we're we could always take them back so um, he found this set online um, I think it was the last pair of his size and it was on there for months and he was just stalking them for months and finally I said um, I surprised him and I said you can you can buy them um, and the these shoes I think are like three hot two something or 300 which there's no way that I was gonna do that but um, the set that he bought for Father's Day the factory seconds were only 150 I want to say and I know that sounds like a lot for a pair of shoes um, but you're not supposed to have to ever buy another pair of shoes you you can you get like the soles re redone and that's um, I mean that might be like $50 on its own but I don't know he seems to think it's worth it and he looks really sharp in them so I'm gonna unbox 
these awesome shoes. They're supposed to be awesome now. Um, the other cool thing about these that we found out, Brian has been showing us videos, but um, each style of shoe is made on its own. I think they're called lasts, which means they, they each have kind of like a different fit. So you go into the store, which they have one at Somerset. Yeah, Somerset. And you get size to see what kind of fit your foot is. And then they'll tell you what kind of shoe best fits for that. And it also has a cork bottom, like where you, where you walk on it. I don't know what that's called. But it's cork, so it's supposed to fit. Are they comfortable? That's what I was just going to say. Um, they have a cork insole. That's what it's called. So it's supposed to... Um, like conform to your foot so the more you wear them the more comfortable they are and so when you get the soles redone um, I think that the the cork is still you don't have to like wear in a new pair of shoes again the cork is still um, fits to your foot which is kind of cool okay so here's the box these like I said, these were it's factory seconds, so I'm supposed to look through and kind of look at the details and see what, um, I wonder if I should point this down. I don't know. So here's the, here's the box. This is what he got for Father's Day. An American original. These are made in the U.S. They are, um, they're not hand sewn. I think they're, um, what do you call it when, like they have machines, but they, the uh, people like guide them into the machines and they check everything. They check the, um, make sure there's no imperfections. There's like 200 something steps to make this shoe. It's crazy. And of course, this is what he would want. Okay, so I'll just sit back a little bit. There we go. Okay, it smells amazing. Fancy, each shoe is like encased its own fancy little package and it smells so good. It smells like leather. Okay, Brian, I don't know why you wanted this shoe because it looks all like <laughs> it looks like his other two. <laughs> no, he'll tell me that they're completely different, but don't they kind of look like look at this one? I guess you need a they're pretty. Are they pretty? Okay, so what I'm supposed to do is compare them from the bottom and see, because he bought a pair before and they were too big, although they were on, they were made from the same last. I think these are made in Wisconsin. Brian, Brian's gonna kill me because I don't know, but they're American made and presidents wear them. That's how cool they are, these shoes. Okay, so I have to go from the heel to the top. They look like they're the same. Hopefully. I guess I can put them side by side too. Do they look like they're the same? Same size? These ones might look a little roomier. These are, I think they're supposed to be more a ca uh, casual shoe. Um, this, this sole is, is this leather? I think he said it's a rubber sole. I don't know, that feels like rubber to me. I could be completely wrong. But see, the sole's a little bit thicker too. So these are more of a casual shoe. Um, the new ones have a V shape by the toe, the brown ones go straight across. Yeah, details, right? <laughs> but look at these. <laughs> well, these are for fancy occasions, and these are more casual. But I—I I mean, I think I could—I can see that with the sole being a little thicker, they're more for like a, a nice slack or something instead of a suit. Like he wears these when we play weddings, um, and maybe he'll want to wear these for more everyday stuff. So um, let's see what else is in here. The other pair. I'm supposed to look for imperfections too. 
one thing that I think is different is that these the other ones came in uh, like a fancy canvas uh, canvas bag with like a rope tie so maybe they didn't want to spend that much okay um, here I'll hold them up and tell me if you see anything I, I kind of see like somebody um, maybe tried them on maybe these were just something that was already in the store but that wouldn't make sense see any imperfections yet I told them that it's gonna be like the um, the left sole um, like accidentally stitched onto the to the right um, shoe mold or something like that but these look pretty perfect so I don't know why in the world anyone would say these are factory second I don't know you see anything I don't see anything let's make sure they're both they're a left and a right I see something here. Looks like there's like a burn in the leather, but that doesn't. It's just cosmetic. Maybe not, because there's a burn in this one. Are they the same burn? That's not a burn. That's a shoe. That's a shoe print. These are Allen Edmonds. Um, they are made in the USA and they um, they have their upper is completely separate and like hand stitch well they're not hand stitch but they are um, guided they're hand guided through the stitching machine it's like way old school way of making shoes so um, they're not glued on and the sole um, the insole is cork so it um, forms to your foot and then the bottom the sole after you know a few years see how you can see the stitching on there a lot of times when you buy shoes that are fancy they'll have this pretend stitch this is real stitching so they can replace the bottom of the shoe um, with the brand new sole for um, I think it's $50 but if you have to do that once every few years it seems worth it to me to have a shoe that you really love and that it's not gonna fall apart you know in a year so um, yeah these are Allen Edmonds and they have some kind of 220 step process and there's also a, um, there's a video on YouTube you can find of them actually making the shoe which is really cool and when Brian found these shoes he showed he showed that video to everybody <laughs> like we would have people over and he would be like um, you gotta you gotta see this video <laughs> and and so then we would watch we would watch the process of making the shoe. Like, kind of like Sesame Street, how they take you on tours of factories and stuff. It's funny. Okay, they're the same size. Right? I think he, he, well, look at that. Is the heel a little bit? Oops, sorry. Okay. I was just looking at the heel. And it looks to me like the heel might be a little you see the little difference there? Maybe that's what the problem was. But they look like, oh, maybe not. Maybe I'm just holding them the wrong way. I don't know. He, it's probably a half size different or something. <laughs> and that'd be funny. He had to take it back to the store. So these are his fancy shoes that he got for Father's Day as a thank you for helping me. Um, when we lost our babies and he's been such a really good husband um, and has helped me through a whole lot the last few years so I think he deserved it so that's all and now I'm gonna take pictures and send them to him because I don't think he can watch right now but he can watch the replay okay talk to you later guys